It sure is hot out here. If only I had some refreshing water to cool me off. Oh, thank you, Ashley. This is perfect. That is so delicious. I sure do feel better now. If only I had some more. Oh, thank you, Ashley. This is perfect. Mmm. into my cup. You might say that the capacity of this water bottle is more than the capacity of this cup. But what exactly does capacity mean? When we are measuring capacity, we are trying to figure out how much each container holds. The cup has the smallest capacity. The next size is pint, then quart, and finally the gallon has the largest capacity. These are U.S. customary units. Let's go on a scavenger hunt around the house to see what kind of containers that we can find that measure things in cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. I love drinking milk when I eat cookies, especially chocolate milk. This is one cup of milk. That's just the right size for me. Let's do a little science experiment. Here I have one cup of water in this measuring cup. I also have one cup of water in this measuring cup. Let's see what happens when I add some yellow food coloring to this measuring cup. About seven drops. Let's stir and see that's enough. The water looks yellow. And let's add some blue food coloring to the other cup of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's stir it up with a different spoon. That one turned really blue. Now, let's predict what's going to happen when I mix the two cups together. All right, let's see if that's what happens. So we'll begin by putting this cup of water into a larger measuring cup and mix it with the blue water. And what happens? Whoa, it turned green, didn't it? That's cool. Yellow and blue make green. It's easier to tell that it's green when you pour out the water. Check it out. Science sure is fun. Did you notice that when we added the one cup of yellow water with the one cup of blue water that we got two cups of green water? Did you know that two cups equals one pint? Let's open up the refrigerator to see if we can find different containers that have different capacity sizes. Remember, we're looking for cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. As I opened up the refrigerator, I found a gallon of milk. It sure is big. We got it from Costco. Costco has the best large milk in town. Here's a picture that I took at the grocery store. The milk container on the left is a gallon. The one on the right is a half a gallon. I like to drink Diet Pepsi at lunch. I usually finish it by the end of the day. Let's see how much capacity it holds. The Diet Pepsi bottle has 1.05 pints. When I looked into my freezer, I found a container of ice cream. As I looked closer, I saw that it was 1.5 quarts. I also found this container of ice cream in my freezer. It's one pint. That's a lot smaller than the quart, isn't it? What size is this container of half and half? If you said that it's one pint, then you are correct. You can buy half and half in different size containers. What size is this container? If you said one quart, then you are correct. Here are some containers of vegetable oil that I found at the grocery store. What size do you think these containers are? I would have guessed one quart, but do you notice that you also need another pint of vegetable oil to fill the container? 
When I'm thirsty for a cup of coffee, I grab my favorite Mickey mug and go straight to my Keurig maker. It makes me a hot, steaming, delicious cup of hot coffee. But if I'm having a party, I need more coffee. So I grab my Mr. Coffee Maker and make up to 12 cups of coffee at one time. That's a lot more coffee than my K-Rug Maker can make. It has a greater capacity. As I walked around the garage, I found two great examples of a gallon. I have one gallon of paint and one gallon of car wash and wax. It's great to wash my car with. As I looked closer around this area, I found this can of paint that's one quart. One quart is a great size when you don't need to cover a lot of space. Let's go out on the patio. I have the perfect example of something that holds a gallon to show you. Check out these buckets. These buckets really do hold a lot of water. How much water do you think these buckets hold? If you say that they're gallon sized buckets, then you're correct. You may have noticed that I have a pool in my backyard. It's covered up right now, but in a few weeks, we'll be able to open it up for the summer. It takes a lot of water to fill up that pool. We need lots of gallons of water. Now that we're done with my scavenger hunt, I challenge you to go on a scavenger hunt of your own around your house. What kind of containers can you find that measure things in cups, pints, quarts, and gallons? The next time you order a drink at a restaurant, consider the capacity of your cup. Which is just right for you? Small, medium, or large? Or cups, pints, or quarts? Make sure that you pick the right amount just for you. Don't get anything too big or too small. If you liked today's video, click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. We'll see you next time, young mathematicians. Goodbye.